people. Oh, here we go again. I'm still talking about standing on what the word says in disregarding what man say if it's contradicting the Bible. So let's go. Matthew chapter 13. Matthew 13. All the way down to verse 36. Then Jesus sent the multitude away and went into the house and his disciples came unto him saying declare unto us the parable of the tares of the field so Jesus then already told them earlier in this chapter about the seed sow no the, the wheat and the tares so now they want to know what the meaning of that wheat and tares parable is. So verse 37, he answered and said unto them, He that soweth the good seed is the son of man. The field is the world. The good seed are the children of the kingdom, but the tares are the children of the wicked one. The enemy that sold them is the devil. The harvest is the end of the world. And the reapers are the angels. As therefore the tares are gathered and burned in the fire, so shall it be in the end of the world. So is Jesus saying right there that he is coming back to get the tares? The wicked ones, the sinners, or is he saying he's coming back in a rapture to take his people off of the earth before it get too bad out here? Let's see what he's saying. Verse 41. The Son of Man shall send forth his angels, and they shall gather out of his kingdom all things that offend, and them which do iniquity and shall cast them into a furnace of fire there shall be wailing and gnashing of teeth now it don't sound like he coming back to, to let's see because what they said was he coming back to get his people but Jesus said he coming back to get the ones that do iniquity? Is the Bible contradicting itself? Or is the Bible contradicting these false teachers and false preachers? He said he going to cast them into a furnace of fire. There shall be welling and gnashing of teeth. Then shall the righteous shine forth as the sun in the kingdom of their father. So you mean it ain't going to be no shining in the kingdom before then? Or do you still want to believe that you're going somewhere before then regardless to what Jesus said he's going to do? You're going to do your own thing, huh? Who hath ears to hear, let him hear. So, let's move on down and see if this really what Jesus was talking about. I'm going to read verse 47 through 50. This Jesus talking. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto a net that was cast into the sea and gathered of every kind, which when it was full, they drew to shore and sat down and gathered the good, the good into vessels, but cast the bad away. So shall it be at the end of the world. The angels shall come forth and sever the wicked from among the just and shall cast them into the furnace of fire. There shall be wailing 
and gnashing of teeth. So I thought you said <laughs> that Jesus was coming to take the righteous away from the unrighteous. I thought he was coming to take the just away from the wicked. But for some reason, Jesus was thinking that at the end of the world, the angels were going to come forth and sever the wicked from among the just. Oh. I guess Jesus was confused, wasn't he? Yeah, because we can't stand on the word. We got to stand on what man that taught. Yeah, we can't believe the Bible. We got to believe this man-made doctrine that's out here. Yeah. That's your rapture right there. So where you going now? One thing y'all might be right about though, all the, the pre-tree of rapture believers, you might be going first with some of these wicked. But based on what Jesus taught, I don't want to be the first to go. How about you? I know some of y'all think I done lost my mind. <laughs> yeah, this joke ain't never came at all like this. But just reading this stuff, man, it just, just got me 38 hot. Because it's so plain. He told us that the first resurrection is when he comes back. When he appears back down here. 1 Thessalonians 4.15 say, those of us that's alive, we don't go nowhere before the resurrection of the dead, but you still want to believe a rapture. That was Paul talking. So you just don't want to believe Paul. Then Jesus in here in Matthew 13, he's trying to tell you, that when he come back, he come in to get the, the wicked, take them away from the just. But you don't want to believe Jesus. I read in, in the book of Luke, when it is, uh, whenever it says, one shall be taken and the other left. Two will be in the bed, one will be taken in the other left. A lot of people try to use that as a rapture. So the disciples asked Jesus, where are they going to be taken to? Jesus said, where their bodies are, the eagles will be gathered together. Bodies? So that ain't a rapture. They going somewhere to, to be killed or somewhere to die. And if you read Revelation chapter 19, it tells you that the birds of the air, that he going to call the, the fowls of the air to come and have a feast on all of these wicked ones. That's why he said that in the book of Luke. But I already know, you're still going to hold on to your fly away doctrine, ain't you? It's up to you. I'm going to believe the Bible. Y'all stay strong and be blessed.